Hello yogis and welcome to day 16 of the 30 pose journey. What what? We're moving into the second half of our series and uh, specifically working into some hip and heart opening postures now. Today's posture is figure four. We'll explore both the standing and the supine version. So I invite you to step onto your mat and let's get started. All right, yogis, we're on our mats and we're ready to explore into our hips today. So the hips, just like the heart, is a space where we store a lot of emotions and tension, especially if you sit all damn day like I do. Um, you'll notice that the sensations that are gonna come up can be really intense. Um, don't shy away from the intensity. Instead, send your breath to that space of tension using your inhale to locate the tension and your exhale to release and break up some of that stored tension, yeah? Okay, so today's posture is figure four and as you can see, I have two blocks set up. This is going to, get, to help you get really deep into the piriformis muscle. If you're like the hawaha muscle, um, that is a muscle that's really deep inside your glute. It goes diagonally across the glute. Um, attaches into a lot of different places that I can't just name off the top of my head right now. But essentially from sitting all day, the piriformis can get really tight and then lead to sciatica, um, just lower back issues. So a lot of stuff has to trace back to our piriformis, at least for me anyway. So here we go. We're going to start on the right foot. Per usual, engage the leg, find what you need to to come into that connection, create a base for yourself. And then, let me slide these blocks back a moment. From here, we're going to cross the left ankle over the right knee. Let me turn towards you and show you what that looks like. So the left ankle crosses right above the right knee, and then you flex through the left foot here, yeah? Okay. Now, if you're looking for balance here and building strength, you start to sit the hips back, send the booty out, reach through the crown of the head, and hands can rest here at heart center, okay? Hug the belly button up and in, and really think kind of like a baby back bend here, okay? So we don't wanna be rounding in the back, we wanna be lifting up through the chest, making space. This is a great place to learn balance, as well as work into that hip area. If you're wanting more of a deeper stretch, start to bring the hands to the tops of the blocks. And let's just hang here. If you want more of that strength and balance, stay lifted. If you want more of the stretch, meet me here. Let's take five really deep breaths. So big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Maybe dropping a little lower, inhale. Inhale, locate the tension. Exhale, send the breath there to release it. Two more rounds of breath. Maybe you start to lower the hands and the blocks a little bit lower. Booty drops a little lower, hip opens a little more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Last one, big inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Alrighty, start to straighten that leg, shake it out, wag the hips from side to side. Mm, yeah, this is a really great one to do at work, after traveling, before traveling, really any time you want to open and release that hip area. We're also gonna work on it on the ground. So slowly make your way onto your back, remove those blocks coming into supine figure four stretch. So once you find your back, keep the knees lifted, the feet planted. And this time we're gonna cross the right ankle over the top of the left knee. You can totally stay here, just letting the knee fan out to the side. And just hang out, yeah? Relax, close the eyes. Beautiful thing to do right in the morning. And now if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, start to hug the knee package in towards the chest. Belly button goes down. Reach the hands through and catch the back of the left thigh. 
Okay, so you're going to interlace the hands and catch the thigh here. Then start to lower that heel back down. And with the strength of your arms, pull the knees into the chest, okay? Don't yank it, so pull's not a great word, but slowly guide the knees in towards the chest. Once you're here, soften the shoulders back down, create space in the back of the neck. And let's take five breaths here. This time sending our breath, our prana, into the right hip allowing the inhales and exhales to locate and release that tension. Two more rounds of breath. Another inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Release the hands, soften the legs back to the earth, let it go. You can always just gently sway the knees from side to side here. Yeah, it feels so good. And then making our way back up to a seated position. So figure four, super simple, really great posture, one that I highly recommend to everyone, men, women, children, anyone that needs it. You can also take it seated like at your desk just by sitting down and propping your leg over and letting your knee hang out to the side. Okay, um, you can also step behind your office chair and grab the top of the, the chair and find that figure four. Okay, so it's a really super great posture to release that tension that we hold. Per usual, thank you for stepping on the mat today and joining me. I'll meet you back here for day 17 of the 30 pose journey. Hey journey goers, Allie here with a huge favor to ask you. If you love practicing yoga alongside me and want more of it, then please subscribe to the channel. By supporting me, you inspire my journey, which then I hope inspires yours. As always, thank you for stepping on the mat with me, for being a part of this community, and for making the commitment to live your journey.